Welcome to the Token Trans. What do I say? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Token Trans podcast, where we talk life, love, and getting high. Grab a J and join us. We do not condone the consumption of illicit activities with anyone under the age of 21. Welcome to the Token Trans Podcast, everybody. It's your boys, Bo and Aaron. And today, Aaron, where do babies come from? Where do babies come from? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's, uh, yeah, today we're talking baby making. That's for sure. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a dad. Uh, so ah! just recently, yeah, I mean, my wife, we made a baby and now we are, uh, seven, um, about seven months pregnant. So we have like oh two more months. God, I couldn't believe it's been seven months already, Aaron. Seven months. And by we, I know 100% for a fact, we are not pregnant. Okay, I know she is pregnant. I just want to make sure that's <laughs> known. I, but I do think we because I want to, I want to feel involved. So preface for the, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, she is very pregnant and uh, she's 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 doing good. She's doing an amazing job growing that little baby. Yes, she is. Oh my god. I need to I need to know everything. When did you when did you and Kayla decide that you wanted to be parents? Yeah, I I have always wanted to be a parent. Like since I was a kid, I was like one day I'll grow up, you know, I'll have my own kids and we'll have our own family and all of these things. Like that was like that was something I've always wanted. Um, but for her, she didn't, I don't think she, she was like, she was like, yeah, maybe probably, but you know, didn't really think about Mm -hmm. it too much. Um, and then when we started dating, she, and I, I, when I started, when we started dating, she was watching her nieces. Um, so she had like a, a smaller, like younger niece, like five and then like a teenager niece. Um, and she had them most of the day, like almost every day. So when I when we first started dating, there was like pretty much always like a niece like on our date, you know, like yeah. <laughs> until we got our own place, it was just kind of like having like like we just always kind of had kids around. So we we definitely got used to having kids, and we got we got really like around, and so we got really good at having them, and we were ended up being just like the babysitters for a while, um, mm-hmm. and eventually, you know, we both like had like she had baby fever and I had baby fever I really wanted to be a dad it's like you know it's cool being a godparent and the uncle and the things but like Mm -hmm. I want to be a dad like I'm ready to be a dad so uh I I was really old-fashioned I wanted to get married first Mm -hmm. and uh like take it all slow and like traditional route I don't know I don't know it's it's strange to hear from a trans person I guess but that was my plan (laughs) And Kayla's like, that's ridiculous. Like, no, well, she didn't say it's ridiculous. But she was like, you definitely, you definitely, like, that's not that you don't have to do it that way. That's but okay, ridiculous. If, if you if you want to do it that way, that's fine. So, she was she was cool with it. And after, but the I, I mean, we ended up dating for five years. So, mm. <laughs> so we dated a long time before we got married. And and once we got married, shortly after we bought the house, and we were like, okay, now we're feeling settled. We're feeling like ready to like to have like to have a baby together and like get start get started on the whole process and stuff but um Mm -hmm. it was really intimidating at first um like being a trans person in uh i mean i live in a very small town in tennessee uh so there's Mm -hmm. not like a ton of like resources and things like that out here yeah uh for like for really any kind of like fertility assistance let alone like lgbt focus which would make me feel like super safe so i you know we we fell victim to the like it's not a perfect time thing for a while for like a couple months and then we were like you know like it's never going to be a perfect time and Mm -hmm. i was like you know i i told kayla like i really wanted to handle like the how part of this like how this is going to work like i don't know Mm -hmm. i I think it was for me i was like i really want to take the the lead on research like on figuring out like what like the clinic or like what kind of options that we even had to work with and like the donor and all that stuff so i was like i'm gonna take the lead i'm gonna get all that information i'm gonna bring it you know to you and we'll make those decisions together and she was like i love that that's perfect because i'm kind of overwhelmed by that whole thing and i'm like same like there's no reason for us both to be overwhelmed let me just take care of this so i i really did like a deep dive on a bunch of different a bunch of different options and things like I knew like the basics of like 
I knew the basic words of the options, but I didn't really know what like the options really meant. Like, mm-hmm. and we could have done it a, a lot of, uh, there's many different ways to be able to have a child. Yeah. What were the, what were the options you were looking at? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, uh, there was like IVF, there was like where you could like fertile the egg, fer- fertilize the egg and like put it in there. And then there was also like, there's so many different, like, uh, like, I don't know the medical terms for them, but there's like, I mean, obviously there's like adoption. They have like, there's, and then there's all, everything from adoption all the way to like where they like medically fuse a- eggs together and make a baby from two eggs. Like, so there's like a huge, you know what I mean? There's a very large. I didn't, whoa, 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 pause. I didn't know that that was the thing. It's, it's like very, like, it's, yeah, it's very like recently. Can't, that's like the breaking yeah it's like very very new i've only oh i've only God. seen it in like headline headline article type things but that's not that's not the kind of thing that we were looking for i was really wanting to do something like while we it didn't have the highest success rate like there was other ways to um like where they could just straight inject the donor sperm into her into her uterus mm-hmm. instead of like us doing it at home so like mm-hmm. Like we were advised a couple times to just uh, come in and do it that way to to mm-hmm. save money, um, right? Because every time that we were like that we like tried, it costs like it costs a lot of money. So so I did some research and I found two banks. There's like two sperm banks, and that I found that we were interested in or that I was interested in, and we decided that I told her that I really wanted to try at home first. You know, like mm-hmm. I. I want to try just me and you, like, if we can do an at-home insemination, like, I want, I would much rather do that, because, like, I don't know, I would just, that would be the most easy, like, less, least dysphoric thing for me to choose, is, like, for us to do this together at home, and, like, if I can choose that, and we are lucky enough to be able to conceive that way, then, like, absolutely, let's, like, let's try and do, I, I, like, I want to try that, and she's, like, sounds great, like, I'm down for whatever, like, you know, you know, we'll figure this out together, so, we immediately wanted to start there. I didn't know how many times we wanted to try at home before being like, okay, maybe we need to talk to a specialist and kind of think about doing it differently. Did, um, did you guys, did Kayla test, like, like have a fertility test or anything to make sure that? No, actually she didn't. We, we, when we were after, once we started, um, well, she had started tracking her ovulation so mm-hmm. she did, she did track her ovulation and like try and keep uh like for months like 3 to 4 but she's tracked she had tracked like her periods like regularly so she had like a good amount of uh information to go off of uh, mm-hmm. as far as ovulation timing but fertility testing wise like to make sure nothing was wrong we didn't do any you know we, she didn't do any any other testing besides ovulation uh peak right testing the previous yeah. months yeah, well, she's and, really young. There's no reason to think that they that she would have anything wrong, right? But but still, um, it happens. Yeah, yeah, still it happens. So yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, definitely. It just kind of feels like more lucky when you know, considering it's like less, um, like less accurate than just like that straight uterus injection, right? And also not knowing for sure if she's fertile. Yeah, yeah. So that, there's that anything feels wrong. just like extra lucky. <laughs> yeah, it, definitely, definitely. Like her, the one thing I, I, I went into it pretty optimistic because her mom had told us, like her mom had, like her older brother, and then waited twenty years and had her, and and then so and her mom always talked about how she had like you know she had got pregnant right after she had got off her, her um, <laughs> birth control birth control yeah (laughs) and so so i was like so when we were talking about it and she was like i think you know my mom never mentioned anything of having any trouble or and she had very fast births and like very easy births and things and so like i don't know i just had like a good feeling like hopeful good hopeful feeling going into it too um but she we we i we looked into the donors together and how i ended up choosing what donor to even go with was because uh, i wanted to go by short or um, I wanted to go by uh, brown curly hair. I was trying mm-hmm. to find a donor, and it's it's it was a, it was a strange experience, you know, just scrolling through and like, like it wasn't not dysphoria inducing, but I guess I was so excited to be a, a dad that I was like, you know, like this is what I got to go through, but like I'm so excited and we're gonna do this together. Like I was still feeling optimistic, so it like gave me that like, 
you know, the umph you need to, like, kind of, like, face some, like, you know, when you're looking at, like, same-sex, you know, info pages, and you're like, that's not what this is, but okay, but I still need this info, like, in a different way, you know, so <laughs> I kind of hyped myself up and went through there, and I was having such a hard time finding curly-haired, brown curly-haired donors. Really? Like, at all. Yeah, there was brown hair. And then there was, like, blonde curly hair. But for some reason, brown curly hair was, like, the hardest donor that I, like, there was none in there. Like, even when you filtered by the, by, like, by the characteristics that you were looking for and things. Um, so, I. That's so weird. Yeah, it was weird. And there was only one that we ended that on, um, on each of the sites that I had found, that we had found. Uh, and so we just basically went off reviews, and I had found uh, Cryos International first, um, mm -hmm. and uh, through t through a bunch of uh, actually actually TikTok where they were doing influencer <laughs> campaigns about like <coughs> like the, there's like a whole world of like TikTok for like fertility and like all oh like this whole thing. Oh my god! Yeah, fertility talk. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. There's like whole channel just like for us, you know, there's trans people that make content, the same thing. And so, but like the bridge between like LGBT and that community is like yeah. newly evolving. You know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. that bridge is still being built, but it is, mm -hmm. it is being built. So that's cool. Um, that's good. And uh, yeah, so Kayla kind of has been like, you know, t teaching me a lot of things through that TikTok bubble over there too. But um but yeah, we found cryos through something through a, one of those uh, videos and stuff, and so we did some deep diving and looked into the reviews. And I had talked to them and did a, a, like a bunch, a bunch of research and found. And I, you know, we had felt comfortable uh, trying with uh, with them first. So we we did try with them first. You didn't. There wasn't like any like prerequisites. You had to like upload your ID, you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, but besides besides that, and kind of going down like some like paperwork information basically like they like they go through and test all of the the sperm donors for like absolutely everything and then everything is broken down in like a bunch of different chart um uh documents that are sent to you mm -hmm. when you purchase it so you know you know they've been t tested and negative for all kinds of things all kinds of genes and like it's all broken down there's a, it's really knowledgeable and all these things but one try can cost anywhere from like five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to Holy try Holy jesus to try <laughs> bo that's to try one time oh you know when they're like my Lord. you know you know when other couples and they're like oh babe i'm ovulating and they just like have sex non-stop for like a week straight and they're <laughs> like i hope we got it no 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 it doesn't work like that for guys it's like us it's like you have a window this big and you have about this much <laughs> to make it you know what i mean to make it work at the peak amount of time and all these things for basically what's like half half of our shot amount like a, a shot amount aaron 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 they yeah. you pay that much and you they only give you enough for one go one go Oh yeah. my god. Is, you can, wait, you can purchase much, multiple. How much but. is the like the sperm donor getting paid? Oh psh, I have no idea. <laughs> I couldn't apply for that specific service, but <laughs> there <laughs> <laughs> But no, but I don't know. I don't know. i i I'm sure if they're brown curly haired they'd probably get paid pretty damn good right now. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Considering so, there's not that's so weird. Okay. Yeah, that's so a lot. We, that's a lot of money. Like we had, yeah. it, it was a definitely strategic. We had to be strate strategic about how much we were saving, when we were ready to try, and all these things. Um, and so we ended up. What were you gonna say? Wasn't wasn't this happening around the same time as top surgery? My top or... surgery. My top surgery was being planned, at the time, so. Oh, right. Yeah. I knew that if like there was a potential. Oh, right. Because your original date was in November. Yeah. And that was like around her due date. And you, you didn't want to be healing while she's going through new baby. Right. At first, right. my yeah, at first my date was going to be in December, but then they had moved it. But we were originally trying in. We started trying in January. We tried first in January with cryos and we like it's such an interesting experience to just like order this 
online and get it yeah. like sent to you. And I know it sounds like sketch as hell, but like after you, it, you like, you do all the research and like, you see that it's like incredible. Like half the time you have to like, they, they prefer you to go through the doctor and like all these things. You have to go through a bunch of hoops. But the point is mm-hmm. like, like it, we I felt really comfortable and really like safe with it, the, the whole experience. I felt very informed. Uh, That's great. The whole thing, but it, it still is an it's an, a strange experience to be like looking out the window, waiting for like the UPS man to drop off sperm <laughs> yeah. to your house in a nitrogen it, tank. What's the packaging like? It's it, it's in a exactly. tank. Exactly. It's so it's in this big. I took a bunch of content. I have a bunch of content that I haven't edited up yet, but basically it's a big uh, ni- like tank, like those big balloon airing up. You know. It's like this big. Oh, like a helium kind of like, tank? It look, yeah, it looks kind of like a helium tank. Okay, like a propane it. tank or something? Right, and inside has uh, basically like the nitrogen for like to keep it to keep it frozen. And you yeah. take the lid off and then it has like the smoke that comes out at the top, you oh know, because God. it's like, because it's frozen, frozen. <gasps> and it's you like ha- some mad scientist shit. <laughs> Seriously, it really, I mean, I, ha- I, you, I just ended up making like a station like a sperm station yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh my it, god did you have like rubber gloves and goggles <laughs> my god now i'm not gonna lie to you the instructions did say something about goggles i did not use <laughs> goggles i did not use that uh i didn't oh have I just didn't. but basically it was like on this long like straw that was like down in the tank to keep it uh-huh. frozen and mm. then you take it out 15 minutes before to let it completely thaw or whatever but yeah, but it was just in this nitrogen, nitrogen tank with, uh, the, and then afterwards you have to pour the nitrogen out before you send it back. So it's like pouring into the into the yard, like you, oh you my God. pour in the yard, but you can't see it. It just looks like a bunch of smoke. Yeah. But yeah, wow. I, it was it. The, I it was the process. Obviously, wasn't like it was. Like I did have to battle my dysphoria, but because I was so excited, it did help a lot to give me like the strength i guess there was a couple mm-hmm. things that like mentally i wanted to like share because they were like mind hacks that like helped me not be so um triggered by these experiences mm-hmm. and stuff and like rethinking about them and like the ways that i was thinking about them so one of them was like one of them i know it's just it's strange but like at, when i you, like you go online and you fill out all the forms and the medical history and all these things and it's like you check out like a normal online item and it you know you you purchase this item and it is yours so what what i ended up just doing is i was just thinking about it like you know like i purchased this sperm like this sperm is now mine right i bought it yep. i have a receipt uh yep. i i paid a lot of money a lot of money for yep. this and yep. uh so this is fucking mine uh yep. I'm, and i'm gonna use it as i damn well please and so yep. it's like 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 not like i so i just tried to like use it as like strength of like that's mine and i like and so i'm gonna conceive this baby with you like we're gonna conceive this baby like together so i don't know it was definitely one thing that definitely helped me is being like it was mine i you know like that it helped me kind of connect to the experience yes so between uh and and honestly because so after after the first we try okay so we tried it january and uh Mm -hmm. we were really excited we did all the things we tracked the ovulation um and we got it we tried on the peak time and everything and the first round we didn't we didn't end up conceiving the baby that that through that round and so after that first round we were kind of like okay so like we knew we shouldn't expect it the first time but like you're still like excited and that's a lot of money to not be like hopeful that something you know yeah. so it's it's a balance of emotions it was a big balance yeah. of emotions like to be able to kind of Man. be like mindful of both yeah i and, oof, man if oh man the just the thought you know I, uh, please stop me if this is like an insensitive way to put it okay. but <laughs> like to you know i'm so happy that you're pregnant but yeah. like to throw away a thousand dollars you know like it just seems like it it got thrown away because she didn't conceive and like i know that that's 
that might be like an insensitive way to think about it. No. I wish that it would have worked the first time for you. Clearly, I, sure. I'm sure we all do. But sure. fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, and it was tough because <laughs> Kayla's like, Kayla's like, she felt bad, like she did something wrong, and I'm like, oh, oh my god. Of course you didn't do anything wrong. Like that's just not how this works at all. Yeah. Like for all I know, I didn't thought long enough. Like don't you even worry, baby. Like it's probably me. So like, uh, so in the next month we had a work trip. We were actually visiting Bo, so we had to skip that round of her um, cycle. So we went to the next cycle. And uh, when I went to go purchase to try again with the original donor that I had chosen, he was out. He was out of vials. So that meant there was nothing that I can purchase that was the same donor after all of that research. And so I was like, fuck. Damn. Like, start over. And I went to the other place that we had looked at. And this place had a little – it was a Seattle Sperm Bank. Mm-hmm. And this place had um, – a, a, a curly hair donor that I that I was re, that I was really um, that looked a lot like a profiles that I was looking for, and mm-hmm. so I started digging into it, and th- they had a little bit more of like a guided um, process, like you had to send in obviously like the paperwork and stuff, but you also had to like meet with a specific like ner, ner- like I think a nurse, a nurse practitioner, or it was like a baby, some like a ba- like a baby special, some specialist. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. I yeah. should have wrote it down. But a specialist where they like talk with you about what to expect and these things. Um, and Kayla's always done her appointments by herself. So I was like, you know, do you want me to sit in on this phone? Because it was a phone call mm-hmm. uh, through this, um, these people that they referred us to. Um, because they were basically, we were having a hard time getting someone to sign off on the paperwork that we, like for Kayla. Like they wanted a piece of paper signed fr- like from our, like her primary care saying that she's like, okay to conceive basically or like that she can receive this sperm at home like she's and she had a really hard time finding someone to like sign that so it, what ended up happening is we just reached out and was like hey like our you know our doctors are like confused by this form like they're not really thinking that this is for them like that's not really their business is basically what they're telling her um and uh they were you know referred us to somebody and kayla had like a coaching meeting i guess you would say with them where they were like telling her what to expect and um, you know, that this can be a lengthy process and, you know, it can, it can be a lot of money and, uh, all these different things. Um, so mm. she, had, after that meeting with them, they sent like forwarded a form to where it like cleared us for us to be able to be shipped the sperm. So that, so after that they shipped it and it was the same kind of situation where it came in like the, the, um, the tank. The tank, yeah. Yes, and this time, thank God, they had a box around the tank because I can't believe I almost didn't tell you this, but after we tried tried the first time, and you have to return the tank, right? So you have to send it back in the mail. For some reason, like, the first time it wasn't, like, it, it was in a box that, like, had, like, metal around it, and it and it had, like, caution, fragile, like, basically it was just, like, looked like like this big scary intimidating thing right so i my my stupid ass is like i'll drop it off at dollar general because they have fedex pickup or whatever so i go bring it in there and i'm like okay i'm like if they try to talk to me because i know it's intimidating so before i even go in there i'm like okay if they try to talk to me about it you know it's just like i'm just gonna say it's a medical device like i'm like okay it's just medical device i have to return you know it held my Mm -hmm. medicine and now i'm sending my medicine back uh you know the (laughs) tank back and so um, I bring it in, and the, the manager at the Dollar General is like, oh, my gosh, what is that? And I'm like, here we go. I chose – first of all, I chose the wrong oh drop-off place. I don't know why I thought Dollar General would be the easiest place to do this. It was just the closest. Yes. You but, got Tammy, and she's nosy as fuck. <laughs> exactly. And she's like – and she's making a scene. She's like talking loud, and she's like, what is that? She looks at me, and she says, is that a bomb? Everybody oh – in the checkout, of course, looks at me like I'm fucking carrying in a bomb into this place. And I'm yeah. like, no, this is my, like, this is a, me- it's for my medicine. Like, oh my gosh. And so then the lady, like, I hand the lady, like, the, basically, like, the scan form for her to take it back. And she's like, oh, okay, I see. And she's, like, looking really, really confused at the paper and stuff. And I'm like, okay, you got everything you need. And she's like, yeah. Like, she's still looking really confused, but she's like, yeah, yeah, I got everything. Thanks. And she's, like, going to t- put it off with the drop-offs or whatever. Or whatever. And, uh, and, of course, on the thing, it says, like, sperm bank on there. So it was just, like, 
So I just like dropped it and just took off, beelined it out the door. So I definitely learned immediately that like, first of all, pay the five if if you can pay the five dollars for porch pickup. All right, just save yourself that. I didn't. Yeah. I tried to just be like, I'll swing by Dollar General. Don't do that. <laughs> At least don't do it. That in in my experience. Oh my God, that was not it. That was very. Oh boy. Uh, I am so sorry. <laughs> that one, that one was rough. That I will sounds admit. like hell. <laughs> yeah, and I, it it was not it was not comfortable, but oh uh, man. But it but this the second time with uh, Seattle's Burn Bank, it was much better because it came in like a box, like a, mm. like it came in a normal looking box instead of like a like metal opening box to take it out. It was like a cardboard box with a lid. Like not nice. cardboard. It was like thick, thick cardboard. So it did the, it did the trick and stuff. And you know, like, yeah, it was, it was, it ended up being a, a good experience. And then on the second try at, or the first, you know, the second try, but the first time with Seattle, uh, sperm bank, we got, we were able to conceive and immediately had, had our our baby, uh, in in the oven just like that. So we, the we, we yeah, time. we we definitely it, got lucky. How can fast. we talk about? Can we talk about what I did? Yeah. With you, with you guys. Yeah. So when when you were trying to get pregnant that second time. Oh yes. Okay, I know what you're talking that about. That was when. I just realized. That. You were only you were keeping it hush hush because you know obvious reasons, and you were only telling me, and I was also keeping it hush hush because I'm really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> and, yeah, just pause real quick. Yeah, no one knew that we were trying to conceive. Like no one in our families, no one, none of our like close people that come over or anything like that. Literally, the only people, the only person we told was Bo. So like, Bo was the only person that even knew the whole thing. So we yeah, were like so... both manifesting hard, praying, doing the things. Tell yeah, so I, I had just heard that, you know, the first time didn't work and you were trying for the second time. And then you guys were like, okay, whatever you do, like pray, like whatever, like, yeah, do it. Do and your like, praying, please. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay, bet I could do this pregnancy spell. It's going to be pretty Should good. I know my shit. And then I was like, if you guys want to hop on video call and like do it with me, it would like make it better. And yeah. then... They did. They hopped on, and yeah. then I did it. I did the whole thing, and part of the spell was uh, anointing a candle with oil, rubbing it in herbs, and planting it while saying an incantation facing north. So I did all that, mm -hmm. and then continued to light the candle throughout the week that was the intention until the candle was gone and bury it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> the second day, I go to light this candle. I light the candle, and the candle's on a window on the pot, the pot and soil on the windowsill, which is right next to the bathroom door, like literally right next to the bathroom door, and like I can have one hand on the windowsill and one hand on the bathroom sink, like it's really close. So I go to wash my hands, and um, the second I. I'm done washing my hand. I hear the fire alarm go off. Oh my god. And I'm like, what the fuck? I look at the windowsill and the entire pot of soil is engulfed in flame. I'm not fucking kidding. And thankfully, you know, I just grabbed it and dumped it in the sink. It was fine. Everything yeah. was fine. Uh, the window was open. You know, it went up. But man... The second Whoa. I was like, ooh, that bitch is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You immediately texted us. You were like, oh, ooh. my God, you will not believe what I just fucking saw. I was like, look, this is going to sound scary, but it's actually a really good sign. It's actually a really good thing. <laughs> my apartment always burnt out, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly because I stay prepared, but oh, my God, it that was wild. Like. There was yeah. no reason for it to do that. It's not like the oil I used was like flammable oil. Yeah, that is that is incredible. That is just crazy because there was so much waiting and anticipation and like, oh my gosh, like it did it work? Like you you don't just immediately know. You have to wait and wait and wait and wait. And so like we were stressed. We were like, Bo, like 
Oh my god. Yeah. And you're the only and then, person we could tell that we were even doing this. It was just it was to the point where like we were hanging out with our family. It was the only thing that we could think of and we were like, Oh my gosh. I'm trying to like think of anything else and carry on a conversation and it was just so hard. Oh my god, yeah. I know it's such a big thing. And then you guys I remember you wanted to wait until that Sunday or something before you took another test, but Kayla mm-hmm. decided not to wait. And yeah. Took a test anyway, and then that's when she tested positive, and like it happened so fast. Yeah, yeah. She said that. <laughs> so yeah, so I was out here in the in the in the building, like fucking around on the computer, like doing my thing at night, and she was about to take a shower. She and I was like, you know, text me and you got a shower or whatever. And uh, mm-hmm. and so she's she said she like got undressed. She was about to hop in the shower, and she was like, she's like, I can't think about it. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. I just I want to take the test. I want it to be negative. We can just, you know, move on, you know, maybe we'll talk to some, you know, some doctors or whatever. Like, I'm just going to take the test because I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, I have no idea she's doing this. I'm just out in the building and she takes the test and it's positive. And so she like totally threw off her whole thing. She's like, what are you talking about? She's like, I got to get all redressed, comes running out here and just bursts through the door with the stick. And she's like, it's positive. It's positive. (laughs) And I was like, it's what? It's it's positive, and we're just like freaking out and wigging out out here. Uh, and then we immediately called you. We immediately had to tell you because you were like the only person that knew we were even trying. So we immediately called Bo. We all freaked out together. And oh then, my god! Yeah, and then I called my brother because my brother called me immediately after he uh, found out he was having a, a baby too. And uh, he was like called me when he was on the way to get more tests. So I called him when I was on my way to go get more tests. <laughs> And we, uh, we, we, we took like a million tests and, you know, found and realized, you know, like, I think, I think we've got it. I think it really worked. Um, yeah. And that was seven months ago now, almost, you know, six months ago that we found out. And now she's like completely developed. We, we got, um, the apps to where you Mm -hmm. can follow along. Now there is a very huge, huge space missing in the app world for an lgbt friendly experience to follow along oh, no. through this experience yeah like the best ovulation tracking app that kayla used is called a uh, pre-mom so like right there if you're a trans person or like anyone other identifying with anything other than a mom like that's it's like the whole app is pink and like ovulation tracking and just like very triggering for people but like it was it worked so well, and I just feel like there's just such a big gap for in the app space. I'm sure in five years or even three years or maybe, you know, whatever, someone will come up with some kind of more, you know, more helpful things like that that are more, like, neutral. But, yeah. yeah. And, like, for mine, like, I was able to find a dad app that I could, like, follow along with that I thought would be, like, super affirming, like, helpful, like, help me feel, like, connected to the pregnancy, help me feel like I, you know, I know what's going on this week. And, like, it gave me, like, fun facts every day. And, like, most of the time, half the time they're pretty good. But, like, the other half it was just, like, quit being selfish. Like, you need to start caring about this baby. That's your tip for the day. And it's, like, okay, not also not what I'm going for. So, like... I definitely think there's definitely a space, a missing space in there for that. Um, so oh my keep, God. That, keep that in mind. I do think that the apps were an amazing way to feel super connected to the pregnancy, like because, like, they, like not all of them are such like assholeish. Like they have like a nice and a naughty version, and like even they, they're just like kind of controversial. But it was it was nice to have like a if you can find like a week by week, like day by day like fun fact about this week or whatever it was really it was really fun and i i've been following we've been following ours like this whole time it tells you like when you're in which trimester and like you share like lists and stuff so we've been uh, and i I fuck with a good list you know so so yeah we love lists love lists (laughs) so yeah Yeah. we've been prepping for the baby so now we current update we are like two three less than three weeks away from the less than two weeks three weeks something like that away from the baby shower so that's going to be super soon and Bo is coming to the baby shower i'm so excited oh i'm so excited too i'm so happy you're coming i'm like so soaked about it um me too oh my god i have you i i i need to feel the baby kick in the belly it will i mean it's i gotta feel the baby kicks that's nothing 
the baby is kicking like crazy. Every single night, we lay down to watch, like, watch our show in bed. Before we watch our show, I put the lotion on the belly, love on the belly, talk to the belly. She kicks like every single night. Every, every Kicks me every time. Sometimes it's just a barely like little tiny kick because she's sleeping. And then sometimes she's just flipping and flipping and flipping. And like <laughs> we'll be like watching the TV show and Kayla will be like grabbing my hand and put it on her belly. And she's just like doing these crazy wild backflips. So some days she's sleepy. But no matter what, you still can feel her kick. And, oh, my uh, God. We, we got the little Doppler at home to like be able to like hear the heartbeat and things. So oh. we're – just obsessed lately getting her nursery together i actually have my amazing friend who's doing a uh paint a little mural in her uh nursery so we're excited for that too so lots of baby things yeah it, lo- it looks like it's gonna be r- a really cute nursery i'm so excited to see it i'm so excited to see it as well <laughs> i'm curious to see it how the whole thing i'm not uh, you know we're we're, we're getting it. We, we like to do projects, but we're not great decorators. But we're going to try and get our decorating pants on and see what we can do. Um, but, yeah, no, we're just we're just super excited. And I'm re- I'm excited to share. I feel like I have a lot of content, like, still to share, like, a lot of video and, like, clips and, like, things. Because uh, I documented the whole entire process. So now I just got to get back there and start editing and, and busting them out. But, um, but, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I make a, a video and make sure to, like, catch you guys up on how it worked, like, how, like, you know, who we chose, how we chose it kind of thing. Um, definitely, I will get all the details and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do a couple different episodes about, like, you know, the baby or, like, baby, like, having a baby, choosing to have a baby, you know. Just I'll, I'll keep you posted. Basically, what happens to me is what will happen and I will just share how it goes with me in between, uh, you know, yeah. episodes. But, um, yeah, yeah, things are crazy. But, you know, things, th- things are crazy, busy, but it's all good crazy. And, um, yeah, I just feel really the best. Yeah. You are good. so lucky. I cannot wait to meet the little baby. <laughs> oh, it's... oh, my God. Me too. I cannot wait oh either. I hope she looks, I, I just, we, I already like, we can see her little pictures and stuff through like the uh, ultrasounds and stuff. Follow me on social. Mm-hmm. You can see like our little clips and stuff, but, um, but yeah, no, we've been having a, a blast and I can't wait for you to see the baby too, Bo. Oh. I'm an uncle again. Yes. Oh my gosh. So cool. Let me, if you guys have any questions, drop them below. Let us know if you, you know, if you want to hear anything specific, we are here to help you have an easier time being trans in today's society. So let us know what you need from us and we will give it uh, to you. Anything else, Bo? No, I'm not getting pregnant. So we're good. Uh, oh okay well that's good to know i but well we will um let you know how things go and we'll um, see you in in the next, the next one, one. <laughs> okay bye okay bye